video game. There and there. Perfect. Just feast your eyes on this fine architectural marvel. Hey, what's that? Like a lump or something? Bjorni, this isn't a lump at all. It's an igloo. You know, like my house. Yeah, but I made a skyscraper, Bjorn. That's what it is? I thought it was a stump. <laughs> Franny, hey, so what is this you've made? A coliseum, where ancient civilizations held all kinds of contests. Fighting, jumping, fencing, plus chariot racing. Brainstorm time. We should have contests ourselves, right? We definitely should. Franny, hey, you make the medals. You should probably measure my neck first. I think I'll just make a cake, all right? I don't need to measure anything, Bucky, because I already know how much cake your tummy holds. <laughs> All right, Bjorn begins training for the forest games. Whee! <sighs> it's the day of the contest. I'd better build up my skills. Wait, better? I'll just level up my skills. Through the magic of video games, I can master every single event, all while sitting on my furry bottom. Goodness, but I love the 21st century. train as much as I wanted for the contest. Don't worry. Being part of the games matters more than winning. I couldn't agree more. And I'll say as much while feasting on my victor's cake. Well, if you're ready to get going, boys, let's get these games started. Chicky? <whistles> Thus, with the puffing of the sacred noisemaker, I declare, woo! The forest games open! Which button do you push to kick the ball again? I don't remember. Uh... uh ah. huh? uh, uh, ah. Ha! That bar is way too low. I'll move it to the top and I won't even touch it when I jump. <laughs> huh? Hey, Bucky, you were right. When you jumped, you didn't even touch it. That's strange. When I practiced in the video game, I jumped much higher. I'm a double secret black belt in video game kung fu. There's no chance whatsoever of me getting beaten. <laughs> I think there's something wrong with my controller. Can we hit reset? my friend, but it won't help you when I turn my nitrous on. Hmm? What's going on here? This game has gotten really glitchy. I beat the final boss in my video game in like 30 seconds. Prepare to get sliced by the master. Ah! All right. The Forest Games have come to an end, and Bjorn is the winner! Let's hear it for Bjorn! Woo! Hooray! Thanks very much. The difficulty level must have been set higher than I thought or something. Or maybe you should have gotten off your furry bottom. Hey, here, Bucky. We decided to give you a prize as well. That's awesome! A winner's cake of my very own? Cooler. It's sort of like a video game where you level up for real. Dumbbells? For real? Seriously? Get it? It works on more than one level. Piece of cake, right, Buck? Post 
Man Chicky. The Swiss Army Remindomatic is gonna change the world. A little bit and twist and that and this. I just need to go and borrow Bjorn's boomerang. Ha <laughs> ha! Genius coming through. Hi, buddy bear. What are you making, a scarecrow or something? I really need your boomerang. Not a scarecrow, Bucky. It's a fox with a butterfly net. Nope, don't see it. Here, Bucky. Thanks a lot. Good luck with your project. Oh, hornets, I'm all out of paint. I'll go borrow some from Bucky. Hey, Freddy. Hey there, Bucky. Do you think I could borrow some paint from you? Ah. <sighs> Thanks a lot. Do you need me to bring something from my place when I return this? Thanks, but I pretty much have got everything. Dude, can I borrow some ice? Got any glue I can have? You're gone. Back for a clipper? Pig mask? Goggles? Shovel? Garden hose? One of these? Some of those. The list just grows and grows. What'll I need next? No one knows. Whoa. I brought your watering can back. Running back and forth like this really has worn me out. You're right. Tell me about it. I wish we had our own postal route. Bjorn, you're a genius! And our private postal worker could be a Chicky! There, Chicky! Deliver this package to Bjorn, all right? Look at that! Bucky, this could actually work out! Or it could totally fail! Unless uh. we put Chicky through Postbird Boot Camp! It's time to make the best out of the worst. We'll train that bird from beak to wing to leg. And maybe we'll know which came first, the mailman or the egg. Awesome, Chicky. Great job. You're officially a Postbird, and we're incredibly proud. All right, Chicky, deliver this package to Bjorn, please. Oh, Chicky, hey! Come with me to catch butterflies. Come back. Whoa! Neither snow, nor rain, nor quicksand, nor space monkeys, nor selfish little bears will stay this small chicken from the swift completion of his silly rounds. Goodness! Poor little thing. The guys are running you ragged. It's unacceptable. But Chicky, you know what? It's time for you and me to turn the tables on them. Uh, Franny? What's up? What's wrong with him? Isn't it obvious, guys? Chicky's sick as a dog! Just wonderful! Who's gonna deliver our stuff? Forget your silly stuff! Help Chicky! Right, we need some hot water, some tea and some mint, lemon, and hot broth. Yeah, we'll help! Sure! Chicky, please bring us some tea, lemon... No, no, no! Just listen here! Uh, Get out there and bring uh, back everything Chicky needs and do it double time! Uh, yes, yes Franny, Franny! Right away, Franny! Ha! It worked, Chicky! Those boys will learn exactly what it feels like to be an overworked, tired post chicken! <laughs> Bring the hot water bottle! We need more tea! And pillows, please! No, more than that! Blanket! Extra bubble bath! Gingerbread bed! A book about butterflies! Bucky, I'm about to fall over. Do you think you could teach your remind matic to haul this stuff for us? What is taking uh. so long? High score. Nice move. <laughs> you guys better hurry up. Uh -huh. <laughs> A 
a portrait, portrait of Bjorn. Look at this, Franny. What do you think? Wowee! It's beautiful! It's me in the north. It's my favorite picture. Hi! Huh? Morning, Bjorn. Listen, Chicky wants you for something outside. Um, all right. I'll be back in a minute. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this! My new Paint Your Hominator dome! Let's paint Bjorn's house as a surprise! Fantastic colors from wall to wall! Hang on! Bjorn will be coming back in a moment. Actually, Chicky's agreed to distract Bjorn for a while. Right. We pour some paint into these cups. Yay! Then press! Then wait until the paint sack is filled up. Then I pull out my high-tech Poppatron and instantly paint the room. Uh... That's... some impressive coverage! Bucky, just look at Bjorn's house! Oh, no! Franny, we don't need to panic. We can fix it before Bjorn even knows it ever happened. There's no need to worry. Still, we'd better hurry and scrub a dub with every sud we find. So this is kind of a disaster. Come on, let's move faster. If Bjorn sees this, he'll kick my brown behind. Wash out the pink, orange, purple, and green for my exploding painting machine. Hey, now it's all clean. No! Bjorn's portrait! That? Hmm. I guess it kind of looks like him. But that portrait is his favorite, and we've ruined it! We'll fix it! So Bjorn never knows it even happened! <laughs> Ta-da! Bucky, where did the portrait go? Cause it's gone! Not a problem! Cause, uh, I'll just uh, totally fix it so Bjorn never knows it happened. We'll just paint it over, that's what we'll do. Bucky, I didn't know you were an artist. And a good one. I'll make a new portrait that's exactly like the other one. First, I'll start with the basics. Bring order to the whole through design, composition, tension, balance, light, harmony, and then some other fancy words like uh, perspective and stuff. Some junk up here, a happy tree, and voila! Not bad, huh? Um, well, it's not exactly right. Everybody's a critic. Why don't you just do it yourself, then? Knock yourself out. Why don't we just tell Bjorn we ruined it and then say sorry? Just stop! Do you want Bjorn to be furious at us, do you? So mad he goes back up north and lives alone in Blizzardville, friendless and frozen? Ugh. I'm so depressed without my favorite portrait. Ugh. Bucky, we just can't let Bjorn find out the truth. Yes, Franny, that's right. So you've got some painting to do. But I honestly don't know how. Then, Franny, it's your lucky day, because I'm a super awesome teacher of the arts. Uh-oh. I can't remember what this portrait thing is supposed to look like. <laughs> Just like this. Now paint. Do I start with, like, your foot or what? No, I think you should start with the old noggin. Head first. Okay. What should I paint next? Now just paint the rest of it and hurry. I'm getting tired of standing like this. Fair. Just remember to use lots of art. <laughs> Franny, this is awesome. Just what we're looking for. I'm finally back. Finding Chicky was hard to do. Um, what is that? Come on, Bjorn. This is your favorite picture of all time, right? Sure, but can you tell me why it's of you now? Uh, you are very right, but we can fix it. Now stand just exactly like this. Franny, start the art. <laughs> huh? Hey, look, it's even better than before. Hey, Franny, you should paint yourself and Chicky into it. What's that thing over there? Uh... Bjorn! Do not press that! Um, surprise! It's sort of beautiful, don't you think? It's like modern art. We can fix this so that you never know what even happened. The myth.
missing doll. Sorry, old buddy. You want some more tea? Have some tea with me. It's as fancy as a drink can be. la -dee -dee. Here comes the thunder. Kappa kapow! My turn. Yeah. Mm. Nice mm. catch. You'll never score. Oh, is that right? Here comes Bucky's mega ultra kick of doom. Mm. Uh. Yes. 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 No. Huh? Oh, look what you've done! You almost smushed my favorite doll of all time! Then, I guess I'm sorry. Can we have our ball back, please? All right, I'll get it back for you. Just promise you'll keep an eye on Ari. Don't let something else happen to him. He's sensitive. He'll be just fine. With Bucky and Bjorn on the scene, nothing will happen to him. Nothing. No way, no how. You can trust us. Bucky, what happened to the oh. doll? Oh, oh, Franny is gonna freak out big time. Yeah, here's the plan. While Franny's off getting our ball, we'll find the doll. Boys, where is my Ari? Mm, Bjorn, you find the doll while I distract the fox. Franny, hey there. Walk with me. I'll explain the whole thing. Did you wink at Bjorn behind my back? Nope. Here, dolly, dolly, dolly. Chicky, come on, help me look for it. Here's the deal. There's one lone day in every year when Ari comes to life and goes to see his friend for an hour or two. How could I never have heard that? What's Ari's buddy's name anyway? I'm pretty sure it's, a uh, Flarpy Flooperstein. We've just got to keep looking, Chicky. Chicky, please tell me you found something. Bug, bug, bug. Bug, bug, bug. Is it with the fish? Oh, I wish. Here, there, where, oh, where? I swear, it's just not fair. Bear in despair. That's not a doll at all. Oh, got it. Chicky, that is a genius idea. All I need is some scissors. So Ari just went to visit Florpy Fluberstein for a while. He strolled around the forest, looking at nature and stuff and greeting all his buddies. Knock, knock, who's there? Knock, knock, that's who? K the J, what do you say? Ari, hey, have a nice day. Strolling through the wood, feeling good, good, good. Until, mercy me, Florpy Fluberstein was stuck up in a tree. Well, how did he get way up there? Well, obviously, the wind carried him up. Snip, snip, snip. Rip, rip, snip, snip, clip. Got to make sure that Franny doesn't flip. All it takes is a little craftsmanship. Turned out okay. It's close enough to Franny's toy, right? It turned out Florby Fluberstein was terrified of heights. Luckily, Ari always packed about a quarter of colored paper, which he chained into a lasso so he could climb up and see Florby safely back to ground. Yeah! And then, did they have some nice tea or something? Yeah! They had pine cone zinger and anthill cakes! So Ari should be back from his friends now, shouldn't he? Ari, I'm on my way! I can't wait to see you! Wait! Franny, he isn't back yet! Uh, I hope that was enough time. Oh, Franny is never gonna believe that that's her Ari. Whoa! Wind's up! Hmm. Is that Ari? How'd you get up there? This happened in the story I just told. Let's just get you back to Franny. Come here. Ah, falling! Ah, not good. Hey, I got him! Here I am! Ari, where are you? Franny, um, well, the thing is, your doll's right here. Ari, give me huggies! Why are you purple? Are you sick or something? Franny! Hey, Franny! <sighs> I'm a little out of breath, but here's your doll, Ari! <laughs> Lovely Ari! So, who's that? Right over there with Bjorn. This is, uh, well... Yeah, this is... Uh, it's Flarpy Flooberstein! Isn't that right? Um, yeah. It's Floppy Flugel Guy. Chicky, no pre-chewing other guests' food like last time. Ari, should I pour you some more tea? Mr. Flooberstein, can I offer you some cookies to eat? They're yum delicious nummies! Seriously? Flarpy Flooberstein? What of it? It's a really common name on Mars.
A grand adventure. So I was thinking, we'd start at the river here, then we'll hike through these woods, and then climb this mountain right to the top. Why do we want to climb to the top? This is the super cool part. The plan is to jump off the peak wearing parachutes. Chicky and I will be home having a lovely time making yummy fruit punch. Come on, Chicky. Bucky, do you really need a backpack you could fit the moon in? Yeah, totally. I'll be ready for whatever nature throws our way. This bag is full of everything we could possibly need. Huh? What? Why? Huh? Bucky, what's the problem? It's no big disaster at all. Some reeds have gotten wrapped around the propeller. I've got exactly what we need. Somewhere, somewhere. Hey, look! It's a grappling hook. Whoops. It's stuck. That was the wrong thing. Somewhere. Let's get paddling, dude. Like this. This is hard work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> are you paddling at all? Because it doesn't seem like you are. Friend, if you're there, come and help this humble bear. Wow, look. Bjorn, enormous fish. Very enormous fish. How are you so calm? Bjorn, fishzilla. Bjorn, did you see that mega gargantuan fish just now? Am I crazy pants or did a giant fish just come out of nowhere and carry us to shore? What's next? A cloud ride to the moon? A little marshy. Nothing could possibly go wrong. We're kind of sinking, Bucky. You think? You forget you're adventuring with Captain Prepare. I just need my grappling hook. Uh, right. I dropped the hook into the river, so we're totally sinking. You see that, Bucky? A whole bunch of ants. Well, are there ants in your brain? Because you appear to be dancing. While we're sinking into a swamp, what are you doing? Is this some oh, sort of come to thing? me. Bjorn? Friends, help this bear pull free. Bucky, grab on. Nice. Thank you so much, my friends. You little guys are just the best. Look at the teeny tiny things. Who would have thought they could do it? Here you go. Thanks a lot. Dude, wait up! My oldest and strongest of friends, our climb on your help depends. Yarn, it's just a rock. A little too far with the nature bear stuff. To climb, you just need muscles and will. Bucky, take a look. It's an eagle. Just beautiful. Come on, Bjorn. Climbers shouldn't get distracted. We didn't come here to look at nature. Huh? <laughs> oh! <gasps> Bjorn, help me, please! Strong monarch of the air, save the disrespectful bear! Hey, I've got respect. Tons of it! Nature's the best! <laughs> Take it easy with those talents. I mean, thanks and all, but really, you can put me down anytime. Huh? Whoa, awesome! Bjorn, did you see that? That bird's great! Oh, the view is just insane. Shame Franny isn't here to see it. Whoa, haunted backpack! <laughs> Surprise! Are you bears thirsty for some fruit yummy punch? Party time on a mountain top where the fun, fun, fun doesn't ever stop. We're gonna chug some punch and have a photo up. Be careful though, cause it's quite a drop. A rotten. That is terrifying! What big dum dum came up with the idea of parachuting? Oh, climb, thank you very much. Bjorn, what kind of groovy creature are you gonna have take us across the river? Mermaid? Are you gonna unleash the Kraken? I will be calling upon that astonishing, mysterious, and noble creature your boat motor, Bucky. Come on! At least call the whale! School of tuna? One really buff goldfish? Movie 
movie, 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 movie. Well? Come on, Franny. We've got to see what your big surprise is. A fancy cake or some crazy awesome punch, please? Nope. Welcome to the world premiere of Franny's Big Adventure! Adventure? You made a movie, guys? <laughs> This'll be great! Come on! Dude, start this movie! Did you make some popcorn? In our film, a prince has undergone 48 trials. Spoiler alert, though, right, guys? Guess I should just let you see for yourselves. Chicky, it's showtime! 48! La -la 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 -la! My brave and persistent prince! After such a long time, my goodness, you've finally done it! Complete 48 grand and awesome trials, haven't you? My noble hero! La -la -la. What in the world was that? A tale of love, and adventure, and thankless tasks. It's kind of a metaphor for being alive. Take it easy there, Spielberg. What it was was super boring. Bjorn, back me up here. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, I guess for a first try, it wasn't bad. What? Bjorn, come on! A movie's supposed to have all kinds of effects. Superheroes everywhere. So, thanks for sharing your so-called movie, Franny. Mm. But now, Bjorn and I are gonna make a movie. A good one. <laughs> <laughs> Robo Bjorn versus Buccinator. Scene 1-A, take one. Speed! Crane! <laughs> Prepare yourself, Frenny, to have your mind blown by a movie masterpiece. I can't stand carrots! Can't stand you! Can't stand you! Can't stand all of you orange skinny dudes! Take that, evil health missile! Buccinator! Uh, what? Is the crane broken? Ah, Buccinator! How dare you mess with my new atomic quantum nuclear carrots! Veggie vengeance! <laughs> Your wimpy vegetables have no effect on me, robo loser! <laughs> Whoa, really falling! Hooray! Veggie's victorious! Bucky, seriously, are you alright? Wonderful! That was really creative! A whole movie about carrots! It's about time! Are you serious, Franny? It's not about carrots! It's got robots and superheroes and fights! Come on, Bjorn, tell her! Sorry, but Franny's kinda right. It's a fight over carrots, dude. It's pretty goofy. Hang on, guys. What if it were a fight over a princess, though? I could never pull off the princess look. I will be the princess. I already have the outfit. What? Make a movie with you? Bucky, don't you think a princess would make a better character than the carrot did? All right, fine. But I draw the line at doofus dancing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a dramatically satisfying princess. Care about me. I am innocent and sweet. It'd be such a shame if I got eaten by a big dragon. Eaten by a big dragon. A big late dragon. Oh my, help, help. Oh, where is my sweet prince, Alack? Don't let me become a dragon snack. I'm here, your princess Ness. I'll do uh, your rescue now. And I'll save you as well, your princess Ness. What are you doing? You're my horse. My character's more than a simple horse. He's a genetically altered horse bear. Hey, if you work together to rescue me, it's a bunny picture. Ow! Uh, Chicky, gracious, uh -huh. did I hit you? Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine too. Thanks for asking. But just let me collect my knighting stuff and I'll vanquish him! Um, ah! My heroes have saved me! Now, we dance! Ah, Long ah, live Horse Bear! That was just awesome! We are a couple of geniuses! And without a single root vegetable, right, Franny? Huh? Huh? Hmm. Mm. Your galaxy has been selected for engoopulation. Plurp, plurp, plurp. Ah! Uh, I'm too handsome to engoopulate. It's me. We have got to make a science fiction movie next. La 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 la
grown up. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I'd like to try. <laughs> hey, come on, yeah. get my turn. It's Franny's turn now, all right? <laughs> we can't, Franny. Only grown-ups are allowed. Yeah, it isn't safe. You're just too little. Well, I'm not really a little kid at all. The truth is that I'm big. <laughs> nice going. Weren't you listening? This is just for grown-ups. Yeah, well, I'm a grown-up. Oh, is that right? We'll just see about that. And now, presenting my new adult retronizer matic the grown-up tester. Stand right here, Franny. Yep. All right. The second you're as big as this other line up here, that's when you'll be a grown-up for real. But Franny, until you're that big, you'll just have to do as we say. Because grown-ups know everything. Like, you should eat your vegetables and no stunt riding. Play dollies instead. Listen to the grown-ups, huh? I think I have an idea. When the doors have all got giant locks, when they try to keep you in a box, build yourself some wooden blocks. Oh, you can't outbox a fox! <laughs> hey, let me have a turn, guys. <laughs> Franny, we talked about this. You're just too little. But am I? I've grown up quite a bit. <laughs> Gosh, they just grow up so fast. And since I'm officially a grown-up, I can do whatever I want. I feel so mature! <laughs> Look at her go. She can have the half pipe. Because Bjorn, I've got the ultimate grown-up plan. Look, here's the bend in the river. It's the perfect spot to build our jump. We'll start at the top of a crazy tall slide and then kerplunge. Then what? You crash into the water? We don't crash. We plunge with studly grace. Just listen up. As a real official grown-up, I forbid this. It's just too dangerous. What makes you think that you're the boss of us? We're just as tall as you yeah. are. All right, boys. Excuse me a minute. I'll be right back. When you're faced with a silly, stubborn guy, and you know that you can't see eye to eye, make your blocks a bit more high. Foxes are sly. Golly, it looks like I'm more grown up than you guys. Bucky, what's going on? Uh, I honestly don't know. That's quite enough chatting. It's nap time. Time for snoozies. Close your little eyes and go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't be running. <laughs> Shouldn't you be getting stuff done? Ooh, yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Boys, it's homework time. No sweets. You'll ruin your lunch. These oh. soft drinks are bad for your teeth. Oh. <laughs> hey, it's not time for soccer. Oh. Climbing's too oh. dangerous. You must always listen to your elders and tallers. Bjorn. Am I the only one that's getting tired of listening to our elders? Oh, yeah, I'm right there with you, but I have an idea. La, 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 la. Gosh, being a grown-up is just wonderful. Right, Ari? You betcha, Franny. Franny, hey there. Shouldn't you put all your dolls away? Why? I love them. But you're all grown. And, Franny, grown-ups never play with dollies. <laughs> Golly. Would you like a piece of candy or two? Yeah, of course I would. Nah, I was talking to Bucky. You can't have it, right? Grown-ups don't eat candy. That's not fair. That's right. Franny, hey, let me ask you something. A light bulb in my house needs to be replaced, but it's just so scary and dark. Change it, please. I can't. I'm really scared of the dark. That doesn't make sense, because you are a grown-up, right? No, I'm really tired of being a grown-up. Look at this! I'm suddenly little again! Now it's your turn to be grown-ups. You can change your own bulb in the scary dark, and I'll take my doll back. And the candy. Well, all right, we're on. Let's go build our dangerous river jump. Can I come with you guys? Are you gonna try and talk some sense into us? Absolutely not! Well then, come on! 
A present for Bucky. Stealthy, sneaky. Like a ninja spy ghost. Oh, I see. Right, position's good. Mega Snoopomatic time. Booting up. System check. I spy with my robot eye. A super genius guy. Hi. And here we go. Oh, really? Okay, fine. We'll warm it. Right, just a little bit further. It's almost in position. Uh-oh. Uh Bucky, I know you can hear me. No, I can't. Come on. I can see you back there. Uh, Are uh, you still uh, trying to find out what I'm giving you for a birthday present? Never. Well, maybe a little, yes. But, Bucky, it's a surprise. Just one little hint. The size or the color. What letter of the alphabet does it start with? Bucky, hmm? it's a uh, surprise. Oh. La, 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 it's apple time. Yeah! Hi there, <gasps> Granny. Do you know what Bjorn's giving me for a birthday present? He didn't tell me. What? It's nothing too special. It's only the super coolest, awesomest, mind blowingest <gasps> birthday present that the world's ever seen. <laughs> Whoa, that's awesome! He's the best! Bjorn, come on! Pretty please with super tons of whipped cream on top of it? Tell me what Bucky's birthday present is! All right. But promise you aren't going to spoil the surprise. Crossing my heart, I completely swear that never shall this news I share. All right, come see. The password is iceberg underwear. Pretty impressive security. Are you ready for it? Mm -hmm. Gosh and golly! This is just totally the best! La 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 la! Granny, I you can't gotta tell me what my present is! Come I'm on! To I'm myself. dying here! I'm begging you, please! <laughs> Sorry, Bucky. Did you say something? If it was something about your present, I promised Bjorn I'd keep it secret. Fine. Keep his dumb secret. Let's forget it then. I bet he didn't really tell you. Yes, he did too. Uh, no, he didn't. He absolutely did. Nope, didn't happen. You're wrong. He did. Bjorn's giving you a card with beautiful dried daisies on it. <gasps> uh, is that really it? Truly? Dried flowers on a crummy little card! Disappointment. Crushing me like a boa constrictor. Midnight. Welcome to the anniversary of the day you were activated. Short party. Disappointment. Card daisies. Come back tomorrow or never! Hmm? Huh? Bucky, hey! Happy birthday to you from your dearest friends! I prepared you a little surprise, and if you're ready... Bjorn, I kind of already know. A card with dried flowers stuck on I'm it. I'm not sure what that means. This, Bucky, is a glider, see? It's taken me practically a whole month to build it. So happy birthday, Bucky! Ugh. All right! A glider! I don't believe it! This is incredible! Thank you, Bjorny! You're just the best! And the cake is awesome, so yummy and creamy! This is the best birthday in the entire history of Bucky Bear birthdays! Franny, <laughs> 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 you totally had me going with that whole card thing! I know! I am a master of deception! <laughs> moves ahead. Now it's my turn. Come on, six. Come on, big six. Come on, big six. Yeah! Hooray, six! One and two, three, four, five, six. Well, there it is. Brandy wins again. Booyah! Victory dance. It's my victory dance. Yeah. 
uh, that's your, like, two dozenth candy today. Uh, yeah, because I've trounced you two dozen times. Ready to play again? Come on, make six! Huh? <laughs> Booyah! To the victor, the spoils. Victory dance! To the victor, the spoils. Golly, I'm sorry, but I'm worn out. Franny, how do you win every single time? It's simple. My secret is I'm always thinking five moves ahead, Bjorni. Big six. Booyah! I'll be victory dancing soon. Nope. Come on, big six. Ah, uh, please? Come on, six. Uh, there you go, six. So what's all this? It's just... It's Franny. I can't ever seem to beat her at this game. If you have trouble winning the game, maybe it's the rules' fault. Bucky, no. I could never, ever cheat. I'll do my victory dance while you just stand there like a big loser pants. All right. Go on. Show me what you mean. Thought you'd never ask. Bucky Bear is on the case. The next time Franny gets in your face, you're gonna put her back into her place and erase your disgrace. Gonna twist a screw and pound a nail. Gonna bolt a frame and mount a rail. And when you play the game on Bucky scale, no way you'll fail. Here's the deal. Behind me is your one-way ticket to victory over Franny. I've built a slightly larger version of the exact same game board with a few improvements. Right, just move here. If you're here, say, for instance, and Franny is a little bit ahead, <laughs> you're gonna love this watch. Whoa. Then just like that, Franny is behind you. Whoa, that's cool. Get Franny, dude, because it's your turn to taste sweet victory. Get ready, Bjorn. Get ready to watch me eat that prize candy. We'll just have to see about that, won't we? And so it begins. Five! <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun! Silly game. Hey there, good friends. This is for you. <laughs> hey, Chicky, stop. We're starting to feel a little bit seasick over here. Opposite day. This is rather puzzling. <laughs> and this, this piece is not the one I need. There you are, right in there. Perfect fit. And where's the other red one? Is it one that I <laughs> dropped? Bjorn, how's it going? Have any plans today? Bucky, hey, good morning. I'm trying to get this puzzle together, but there's a piece I can't find. Could you help me find it? Of course I couldn't. Couldn't? But Bucky, why couldn't you? Let me not tell you why I couldn't. 
Because it's opposite day! Isn't that awful? Like, if I say no, it really means yes! I thought it up myself. Huh? Come on, Bjorn, it's the least fun ever! Give it a try! Opposite day, huh? Oh, there you are! Look, I found it! Hooray! No, wait, I mean I didn't find it. I'm so sorry! What do you say? The two of us do not pay Franny a visit. Let's ride in this awesome sports car that's completely mine! It's not yours. Right! Opposite day. Golly, Bucky, drive slower, please! Wait, I mean, go faster! And maybe drive forwards! I mean, backwards! I mean, ugh! Super yummy! And now I'll finish the soup. Soupy, soupy, soup, soup. Getting there. Hello there, Franny. Wait, I meant to say goodbye. You're here already, guys? You're so early. The soup isn't done. I need, like, an hour. Franny, it's fine, because guess what? It's opposite day all day long. Life in reverse, which means we eat our dessert first. This stinks. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I mean, no. No dishwashing. Not on opposite day. Opposites are so much fun. This is the greatest idea ever. I mean, the worst. Hooray for opposite day. The absolute worst. Everything is backwards. Words back is thing every. Up is down and yes is really no. Very topsy-turvy. Turvy topsy very. Black is white and fast is really slow. I am gonna put a shoe on my hand. I'm gonna take a swim in the sand. In opposite land. Upside down and flip-flopped. Flop, flip, and down upside. Night means day and stop is really go. Bucky, Bjorn, and Franny. Enarp and Robbie Cub. Hot is cold and goodbye means hello. I'll put my underwear on my head. I will sleep standing up in my bed. I'll say boo instead of hooray. I'll say I'm working hard while I play. It's opposite day. <laughs> I'm having such a good time. And I think that we should have opposite day every day, boys. I disagree. Let's not do it. Franny, can I please have some fruit punch? Oh, I mean, can I please not have some fruit punch? And Franny, can I not have punch either? Sure thing. I would be sad to not bring you guys a drink. Franny, what are you doing? Why are you pouring the punch like that? We have to do everything the opposite way, right? That means we should drink the punch first, and once we've done that, we fill the cups, right? I mean, wrong? There is such a thing as opposite day overkill. I think that it's time for me and Bjorn to leave. Mm hmm. Hmm. Bjorn, why are you still sitting? Right, fine. Bjorn, let's both stay here forever. Sure, I'm not driving, all right? Bye. All right, Bjorny, don't punch it. Bjorn, watch out! We're about to crash! Please don't stop! You almost just wiped out! Are you crazy? Well, you're the bear who told me not to punch it. And today, not punching it means full speed ahead. Yeah, yeah. Don't you mean full speed behind? Know what, Bjorn? Enough opposite day. I'm done. It's gotten a little bit ridiculous. Let's act normally, all right? If that's what you want to do, then you got it, pal. Hey, guys. I didn't find another jug of punch. Would you like to not have some? We love some. Oh, well. More for me then, I guess. <laughs> Franny! Well, she doesn't have the hiccups. We should try not scaring her. <laughs> Rain like a drain. All right, everyone's here. It's my big, important honor to declare the Forest Tennis Open is, um, open! Yay! <laughs> I hope you're prepared to lose, Bjorn. I'm prepared for the opposite of losing. Me and my lucky racket, Chester, are gonna super unlose. Wait, where the heck is Chester? And where's Wham Wham? Franny, have you done something with our rackets? Gosh, I might have. So then where are they? There. 
Um, there... Well, I don't remember. Why don't you guys just play with mine? Ah. Oh, come on! Is this a heart? Looks like a big pink lima bean. Bucky, they're fine. Come on, let's play. Oh, all right. Okay, here we go. Time to show just how well I know. How well I know. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Just what's going on? See, Franny, these silly lima bean loner rackets are a disaster. Well, it could be a problem with the racket, or it could be that one of us just stinks at tennis. Well, it's not the one who's me, because I'm a tennis ninja. You're the one who stinks at it. Uh, Bucky, I'll show you. That really wasn't what I meant to do. Okay, that was you. I think I hate these rackets, too. Huh? <laughs> Bucky, you're right. We can't play with these rackets. They're throwing our entire game off. What I need is to get my paw wrapped around Chester again. Hey, hey Franny, Franny, where, where did, did you put our rackets? <gasps> Maybe here? No, not here. Uh... They were here! Definitely! Maybe. Possibly. Possibly, Franny? What is that? It's clear that you've forgotten. All right, Franny. Just close your eyes and picture the rackets. See the roundness and the twangulosity. You have them in your grip and set them down where? I remember! <laughs> uh, well, it's close at least, though. Bucky, I think we might need a different strategy for this. So, to help Franny remember, we must recreate the exact conditions of the very day she lost them, which was when? I think it was... I want to say it was a Tuesday? Great! Just like today! Noonish? Just like the current time! In October! Just like... say what? October? That's right! At the beginning of autumn, all the leaves were as yellow as cheese! Okay, just let me think. Well, oh, well, oh, well, oh. Yellow, hello, yellow. Come with me, good fellow. We're gonna weave a mustard tastic spell. -oh. Okay, Franny, just look around. Yellow trees, just like in the fall. What exactly were you doing then? Well, duh. We were playing tennis. All right, you stand here, Bjorn. And I'll stand there, just like in the real game. I think I was over there and you were over here. I wasn't over there. We were playing on these sides. My memory's like glue. The glue's wrong. Uh -huh. My memory's like concrete. No. Flashing yes. back. I'm going to play over here, all right? Not a chance. Why do you have to argue about everything? It's no fun to play like that. I'm just going to go home. Here, Franny, you play. <laughs> You're not the only one who can shout stuff and go home. Here, tennis is a great game. Have fun. But I can't play tennis by myself. But your rackets. Uh, I'm done with that thing. Chuck it. Flashing unback. I remember. Huh? huh? Nope. 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 Yep. Yep. All right, Franny, thanks! My plan worked! We fooled your brain with my masterful recreation! Nah, what did it was you guys arguing? Just like you were on that day! What do you mean? We never argue, we're best friends! Isn't that right? Of course that's right, dude! Now let's play some tennis! Buggy, uh, where's the ball? What? How should I know? You had it last, Bjorn! This is how the arguing starts. This isn't an argument. This is me telling Bucky that he lost the ball and him being stubborn and wrong. I'm not the one who's being stubborn. My memory's like concrete Why glue. Why do you argue about everything? I'm done. In fact, I think I'm just going home. 